Hey guys, I'm Tom, AKA Tom Foodery, and you're watching Fill the Frame, the show where we take you to some of the best restaurants in the UK and give you lots of tips and tricks for taking amazing food photography using just your phone. We've got Dan behind the camera, say hi Dan. Yeah. Today, we're sticking in our hometown of Bristol. We're gonna to go to three completely different restaurants and I am excited about this one. Let's go and take some food porn. Okay, and here we are. Stop number one, which is Kobe. An awesome, brand new, family run waffle and gelato cafe slash hangout right here in the center of Bristol. Now, I absolutely love this place, but I haven't tried the waffles just yet, so I'm really excited. This could have been our last stop because, you know, it's a bit more of a sweet one, but there's no rules. We make up our own rules. So let's head in. We've got all of our food. It looks incredible. At standard, we've ordered way more than we need, but that's because we want to take some epic food photography. Got my light source here, this beautiful window casting in lots of natural light. We are, however, up against time because we've got hot waffles, melting chocolates. We need to be quick, take as many shots as we can, then we're going to tuck in. So Dan, it's a race against time, follow me. I'm just going to go nuts on this one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So I'm struggling to kind of get everything into the shot on this. So I'm just gonna push that to the end. Add that there. As I said, forget what your grandmother tells you, play with your food for food photography. It's my permission. For me, the bobbliness and the, or the waffliness of these waffles is what I wanna concentrate on. So I've moved this one to the foreground because it looks really, really nice. Look how cool that looks there. They all look great. That one in particular looks like it's the right hero shot. So that's in the foreground. These are here to fill the frame. Just poured all of that beautiful Canadian maple syrup all over these waffles and now they're really glistening. So I'm gonna get a bit closer to the window so that that light really shines off the liquid. Looks so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with these maple and bacon waffles because let's face it, maple makes life better. Mm. Oh, the waffles are like super soft, they're almost like falling apart. The bacon's nice and sweet from the maple syrup. These are good. Just gone half 11 in the morning. So, it's breakfast. On to the sweet ones. These are the cherry, uh, cherry waffles. These are the stuffed apple waffles. And I'm not sure if you can see inside of there, Dan, can you? They're like super stuffed, full of all kinds of apple epicness. Mmm. I am so rubbish at eating on camera, Dan. Every time, all around my mouth. And it's because I'm enjoying it. What is not to love about that? Super creamy, organic gelato, super fluffy, warm waffles, cherry, what is that to say? Next up, Soup Kitchen to try their Mediterranean brunch menu. And here we are. Soup Kitchen in Clifton. Now this place is without a doubt my number one brunch spot in Bristol. Um, it's also probably my top five restaurants to eat dinner in Bristol. The menu is a mix of Mediterranean and Persian inspired dishes. There's like tons of color, tons of flavor, which makes it perfect for Instagram food photography. So let's go in. It's here in all its glory. So we've got a sandwich, we've got a shawarma, we've got these beetroot falafel, and then we've got this fried cauliflower here, which all look delicious. This is gonna be my hero shot to start with because let's face it, it's all about egg porn, yolk porn. I've said this before, play with your food. I really like the redness of these chickpeas. So I'm just gonna put a few more in the front here because you can't see them at the back and they're gonna add a really nice bit of color. I'm gonna arrange the shot like that so that we can fill the frame. Lining that up so that we've got everything in shot and that looks so good. 
happy with that. So with overhead shots, I like to use an odd number of dishes. So I've got three here. I'm gonna come out a little bit so that I can crop when I edit. Delicious. So when using the native camera on an iPhone, and I'm sure this is the same with Android, touch the screen on what you want your subject to be, and that will put that in focus and start to put all of the rest of it out of focus, which is what we call depth of field. I'm gonna use this here as my hero item. I'm gonna tap the screen, put it in focus, boom. Oh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Which to go for first? The one I haven't tried that I'm most excited about actually is these beetroot falafels. Dan, come here a minute. Let's see. I want to see what they look like inside. Oh my goodness. Mmm, sweet but gooey. You can really taste the beetroot. Mmm, delicious. The sabich here is like my go-to. So I'm very familiar with this particular dish. We've got chickpeas, we've got fresh salad, we've got chutney, and some sliced aubergine. And it's all about that aubergine. Mm. Mm. So this is a shawarma, char-grilled chicken, loads of salad. You can see the flavor on it. It's almost like one of those dishes you want to pick up with your hands, but you know you're going to get way too messy. Mm. Mm. As always, I took way too big of a mouthful. I need to start learning how to do this, Dan. <laughs> I get too excited every time. Mm. This is, for me, absolute perfection. Delicious main meals, incredible side dishes, perfect for share rooms, like a table of four, six, eight, ten of you. Fill the table up, a few bottles of wine, the best night ever. Ah, oh, soup kitchen makes me so happy. But next up, we're going to Salt Street. You're gonna love it. And a short trip up the road, and we're here, Let and Rye. You can see it in front of me. We're here for Salt Street, which is a Mexican pop-up. They've got loads of tacos, some loaded nachos. I'm excited about this one. It's, the food looks great, but we've taken it outside because we're at the mercy of the English winter. It's all just gone four o'clock and it's getting dark, so we've got to be quick. Composition wise, I'm gonna come in really tight, really focus in on all this color at the front and on the side, using these two dishes here to fill the frame. Love that. Again, we're gonna use three dishes for an overhead shot. Gonna move these chicken wings on the inside so that we can definitely get them in after we crop. <laughs> oh yes. So I've got Leon as my helper. Uh, he's gonna, we're gonna do some handheld shots now. So I'm just gonna line them up. So I want you to put your hands just like that, nice and close. What I really like about this is we've got all these little onions hanging down. It looks like it's bulging at the seams because there's so much food, which there is. I'm gonna move that in slightly, get my feet out of the way. I am happy with those. <laughs> I can't even bother to go inside. I'm too excited to tuck into these. So this is the chicken, we've got cauliflower, pork and sweet potato tacos there. This one, really nice bit of sweetness from the watermelon, nice crunch from the red onion. Mmm, oh. I literally just bit half a taco, I think. <laughs> I will learn one day. That is lush. The pork's super crispy. So the nachos are really dark, they're like a purpley colour. It's because they're made with blue masa. Mmm, so good. These look evil. I'm a little bit terrified. Wish me luck. Yeah, really delicious. The perfect amount of spice. Again, nice and sweet, really, really juicy, and messy AF. Oh, you know what, Dan? I take it back. That sauce is hot. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I would be so shit on the hot ones, but I am available to be for bookings. You know, Sean Evans, if you want to book me for the hot ones, I'm, 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 I'm in. So that's it. Episode four, done. Three awesome restaurants. Uh, let us know which one was your favorite, which one you'd probably most like to try. And as before, let us know if there's any tips, tricks, apps, anything on composition, lighting that you would like to know, and we will include it in one of the next episodes. Won't we, Dan? We will. <laughs> so that's it. You know what? After that last beer, I'm in the mood. Dan, pub? Let's go.